My favorite thing about our bedroom area. So what we do when it's on an angle is we sleep. Hey guys, welcome to another week, another video. Check where we are currently parked up. You see the water? Yeah, bed probably needs to get made. Aya, where is she? They're down here somewhere, but she's been pretending to be a koala in that tree for a really long time. We've been in the bus for, I think, nearly two weeks now, and we're definitely getting into the swing of it. It's been so nice spending our days together, and especially now the sun is shining. But today we thought we'll show you where we sleep and our, just our general sleeping arrangements. Okay, does anyone else just start chopping things and have zero plan on what they're cooking but just um begin and then see what happens at the end <laughs> because that's what i'm doing i'll show you what i come up with all right this was the outcome i still don't know what it is but it's like potatoes mushies cooked up in stuff with taco seasonings avo coconut yogurt kale and yeah look he's got his first hat on I think he likes it. Yeah. <laughs> I not want it on. You can take it off him. He's smiling at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> Is it good, Avo? It's a pancake. Oh, it's an avocado pancake. Once you've finished that, will you help me show everyone where we sleep at night? Maybe we could have a nap. A nap? Oh, you've got sand all in your head. <laughs> That'll be in the sleeping area that we show you guys. <laughs> Sunset here is going to be amazing. Alright, I just made the bed to show you guys. We have a really big king bed And this is it. This is our bedroom So I've always had this dream of being able to take my bed and just like put it out at the beach and sleep out there And this is pretty close to that. My favorite thing about our bedroom area is this skylight we get to look out at night time and see the stars and moon and it's so beautiful first thing in the morning to open up as well um, but this is probably like my favorite thing about the whole bus we love our bed I was planning on getting the whole family in here to show you guys our sleeping arrangements but Ayana is in a tree pretending to be a koala and she does not want to get out. Understandable. So this is our king size bed. In our last bed we had a queen and having the upgrade to a king is life changing. So yeah we have co-slept with Aya her whole life and now with Ayan we're all co-sleeping here in this bed and the best thing about having the king in the bus is that you've got the walls either side so you can sleep right up to the edges and it seems like the bed is just a lot bigger um so basically our setup is i am sleep next to me then me and then aya and then chris over there but yeah i have him next to me because i breastfeed during the night so i'll just have him here and he'll just have warm clothes on and a little blanket on him that's separate from the main doona because then i don't have to worry that the doona is going to go on him or come off him when other people move and stuff like that but yeah that works really well for us and then the other thing is when the bus is on an angle so it's not completely flat ground it's really terrible sleeping on a slope because we all seem to roll to one side so what we do when it's on an angle is we sleep sideways in the bed and we lay 
across the bed this way. So yeah, we just changed the pillows and sheets around and it's actually really good like that as well because it makes the bed even bigger, but Chris is really tall so he doesn't really like it because he has to sleep a little bit on a diagonal, but it still works really well. So that is how we sleep for anyone wondering. I know that not all families love co-sleeping, but there's so many different options with how to design the layout of your living space if you're wanting to, you know, do a bus or tiny home or whatever. And I've seen other vans with bunk beds and all sorts of stuff. We've also got a fold out couch which doubles as a secondary sleeping area in case you know when A is a little bit older she might want to have her own little bed or if Chris or I want we can go down there and sleep. So I'm not going to fold it out right now because I really want to go out and see that sunset. Look at that it's going to be so good. But before this video is over, I will fold out the couch so you can see our second sleeping space, which also doubles as like a stretching pad for Chris and I once the kids are asleep at night. Iam does have this little portable nest that we take outside when we're going down the beach and he needs to sleep, so that's super convenient. And this is the couch here, so we can just take the pillows off it and then this folds right out and then this entire space here becomes another bed that's basically our sleeping arrangement so i'm gonna make a chai right now because i want to take warm chais out to watch the sun set i'm gonna do that and i'll bring you guys out there to see it too because yeah it's going to be so nice <laughs> is setting out there I am snapping I'm about to start dinner and if you're wondering Aya is still pretending to be a koala in that tree with Chris now <laughs> I'm okay. hey <laughs> how's dinner delicious that yeah was I was pretty happy with it that was dinner what part did you like they like, um, that and you're the having, uh, combos. <laughs> and the sun's finally gone down. Alright, so I thought I'd just show you guys where we sleep. It's definitely cozy, but we all, we all <laughs> squish in here and we're definitely a cuddly family. Cuddly family. <laughs> Oh. Who's your favourite person to cuddle? Daddy. <laughs> so once we're up, I'm also going to fold out that couch space to show you guys. But we haven't slept on there yet. Got a while of A cubby house down here for Aya. We've got our second sleeping space here. And then we've got the king size bed up here. And yeah, that really works so well for us. I know there's so many different sleeping arrangements that you can have in your layout and stuff, but this just suited our family. And I think it's a, a, a rule that however many seats you have, you need sleeping areas in a motorhome. Oh yeah, you do so too. Have to have something like this. Our bus is registered as a motorhome. You can see how short it is. But Chris is, you're very tall, babe. Your feet, yeah. Yeah. You got a cubby house here? Yeah. Uh, we, um, I just got tools in there. Your tools? <laughs> Should we take everyone to see where we're going to spend the day? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You and I, let's go. All right. So that is it, guys. Look at you on that bed. <laughs> Maybe you and I will sleep down here together sometime. Yeah. All right. Look at this. Woo! Um, um, 
I do we got the rimmers? We do. I want to go here. You want to go for a swim? Yeah. And we'll put this in the shade and I might have his first sleep out here. Yeah. So yeah, this is where we're going to spend the day. I'm going to wrap this video up now. Chris and your brother, Daddy and your brother are on their way up here. Hey, Chris. I should probably also mention the most important and used sleeping area is this carrier right here. <laughs> all right guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. I hope that answered some of your questions about where we all sleep as a family of four living in a bus. <laughs> it looks funny. <laughs> all right, we're going to have an amazing day here. Living in these kind of sleep. <laughs> all right guys, we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Maybe. Um, um, when I get old, I think I will have a baby in my belly and I will have a big baby. <laughs> this is my baby name, Rosie. Rosie looks like I am. Uh, it's Tessie. Oh, Rosie. Hey, Rosie.